Okay. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. What up, YouTube? Gunner South here. Just wanted to do a quick update on my limited gun, as I've been quite busy with this gun, and I have been trying to update it and get it to be more uh, limited friendly. Um, so if you want to refer to my old uh, review of this gun, this is a Tamfolio uh, Elite Match. Uh, single action only in 40 cal. So let's see if I can get 40 cal right there. Uh, anyways, so this is this used to be, or it is, still my uh, elite match. Uh, but I've made a lot of upgrades to it since the last time you saw it, and I wanted to go over all of those. Um, <clears throat> first things is the Dawson Precision sights have been swapped out. I also bought the Tanfolio Super Sight. And you can see this, it is really rough and ugly uh, because I actually cut the dovetail myself uh, using files and a whole lot of work. Probably took me two, three, four hours maybe total of time to cut this dovetail uh, so that I could install the super site. I do not recommend it using hand files. I think I got lucky. Um, because it's actually pretty well done. So I, I got lucky. Uh, it shoots slightly to the left at like 7 yards. And it shoots slightly to the right at 25 yards. And and by slightly, I mean we're talking like if your point of aim is this little white dot. It hits here at 7 yards and it hits here at, at 25 yards. So I'm actually very happy. But it could have been a lot worse had I been... Just a little bit more off either way. So I don't recommend cutting your own stub sight or your own cuts for the sight. But I did it and it worked out okay. Uh, your mileage may vary. The other thing I've done is I've put the curve trigger into this gun. Uh, so I have that Limpro uh, that I love and shoot. But it had a just a stock trigger without an over travel stop. The one that was on it before was this little thing, and this thing just wobbled into the trigger guard too much. This has a lot less play left and right. One issue I did have, though, is it did not have a over-travel stop, which is that right there. So I drilled the over-travel stop, and it did not have a pre-travel stop, so I drilled a pre-travel. Now, what I'm eventually going to do, and what I should have done to begin with, is just installed a an interrupter disconnector and then I wouldn't have had to worry about this trigger sliding all the way back and I wouldn't have had to worry about the pre-travel but this is I didn't want to spend a lot of money on updating this project so that's what I did I just put, throw it on the drill press drilled it and it, it works um, you can see I'll just show you all right so it's clear and it you know it comes back to there there's the wall breaks resets and, you know, if you let it all the way out, it's there. But it's pretty close to my limb pro, so I thought it would work until I could get that bolo. Basically, the bolo showed up um, too late for me to uh, install it and still shoot the competition I did with it. The other thing you'll notice is the grips are different. So I had some hog grips on it that were sanded down before. And then I went to these lava grips. Um, they worked out okay, but they're really thin. You can see how thin they are which uh, was fine, but I have gotten used to a little bit of palm swell, and this one has been shaped very much like the scales grip. So I took the stock, grip, stock grips from the Limb Pro that I had that I knew I was never going to use again. I cut them down to size and cut them for the magwell, which I'll get into later. And then I got out the Dremel tool and I started shaving down this side. I finished this side. This one is shaped very much similar to the scales grip. And then I just kind of started over here, and then I grabbed it, and I was like, eh, that, that feels okay at the palm swell over here. This, this having a little bit more meat in my hand over here on the left side is fine. So I, I kind of got like that, and uh, I was just like, oh, I'm going to run with it for this match and see what happens. Um, the grip wasn't really that big of a deal. So the grips are just the reshaped stock grips. And then finally, I put the Henning Magwell on it. Right. Okay, so these are made for the square trigger guard tanfolios. Uh, they will fit on this, but here's where you have problems. First off, there's a slight overhang in the front. 
All right, if you can see how the match curves forward, uh, rather than coming more straight down, uh, which means that the magwell is overhanging up here in the front. There's a little lip I can feel in here, which this is no problem. But then there was a gap in the back and there was a gap on the sides because the competition frames bulge out a little bit more on either side and then they're a little deeper in the back. So I went to the hardware store and I bought me some steel stick and I puttied it up, puttied up all the gaps on here. And then I got out my Dremel tool uh, down here and rounded it out. Uh, and I'm actually reasonably happy with this. Um, you know, if I start over here and I push forward, it'll go in. If I start over here, it'll go in. And if I push it back here, it will all go in. So uh, that actually worked out very well. So Magwell. Um, but I'll, I'll go into the detail later. But I just wanted to go over the changes. Oh, and then the safety is different. So this safety is off the Limb Pro uh, that I wasn't using. It just so happened to still work as a safety. Still does happen to work as a safety for this gun. Um, so yeah, happy with that. Um, so that's what the changes I made to this gun. Also, I could have fit the, the right side safety on it, but... Uh, I didn't need to because I looked at the classifiers ahead of time. There was no draw in left hand and stuff. So those are the changes I made to this gun to make it a complete limited gun. Um, if I were to continue to shoot limited, what I would do is put the bolo in so I could get rid of this pre-travel screw. I would fit a new safety on here just because it kind of comes off like the safety comes off about right here. Right? Which... I would rather it come off, you know, when you start seeing red. So it could be fit tighter because it's just a borrowed safety. But if it's all the way up, it works. So that, that was fine. But if I were to continue to shoot this, I would want this to be made more safe. Uh, but other than that, it was a nice shooter. Um, didn't have any problem. Well, I, I had problems with it, but I'll go into that detail. But these were the um, changes I made to this gun for the limited project. So... More detail on that later, guys. Thanks.